What is up? My name is Nick and I am a Hackintosh user. I also have one of these, an SD card, and for good measure, of course, an SD card. But for some reason when I plug the SD card in, my Hackintosh does not pick it up. So if you're in the same situation as me, let's figure out how to solve this problem. First off, let's go to the Apple logo and hit About This Mac. Once you're here, go ahead and click on the System Report. And once we're here, uh, let's go and select Card Reader, just to check if Apple sees our card reader properly, and most probably it does not. So let's scroll a little lower to USB. Here, you'll get a list of all your USB devices which are connected to your Mac or Hackintosh. We're gonna scroll down until we find our ASD card reader. And for me, it's my USB 2.0 hub. Now it's important to first check if you're simply plugged into USB 2 or does your hub require USB 3. We're gonna make note of these two numbers over here. We're gonna need them in a bit. First thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Finder then go to your main hard drive. From there, we're gonna to go to System, Libraries, and Extensions. Now, this is where most of your kexts are. Think of kexts as a drivers. They are the things that give your system instructions on how to run. Here, we need to find a specific one by the name of Apple Storage Drivers, right? So let's go ahead and just copy this over to the desktop. In my case, to make this tutorial easier, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to drag this file over there so that we can work with it easier. So far, we're all on the same page. All we really did is copy one file from systems, libraries, extensions over to a different folder in order to start working on it. So let's go ahead and open a show package contents. Then let's go to contents. From here, we're going to go to plugins. And here we need to find another text. It is named quite clearly Apple USB Card Reader. So let's show the package contents of that and go into the contents. Right. If you for some reason can't see this file, go ahead and print command, shift and dot, which reveals all the hidden files, but it should be visible to you if you're on Catalina. So all the magic that we're going to be doing is going to be revolved around this one single file. So what we need to do is we need to open it. Now, you can open it with any text editor of your choice. Give you a clear code to work with. Or in our case, we're going to use a plist editor. You can use the pro version or you can get the free version online. So let's scroll down over here until we find IO kit personalities. Let's expand that over here. Here, let's select the very first option is Apple SD card reader. Let's open this up. Then I was told, not too sure, but let's do it anyway, to change the name of Apple uh, to anything you want, really. So in my case, it's going to be Alika. As we scroll down, we're going to see this 0100. Let's open this up and we're going to see at the end of here, ID product and ID vendor. Now, the problem is and this is probably the reason why the SD card is not working, is that these numbers don't match up to your system numbers over here, and so Apple can't connect the two together. So, in theory, if we just take this number, product ID, we copy it, and we paste it into ID product over here, then everything is going to be great. Only one small extra spe step that we need to take is that this is hex values and this is binary values. So we must make a conversion real quick. So let's go to this website. We're going to enter the value that we just copied. We're going to convert it. We're going to get a number over here. And now we're going to copy this number. And that's our number that must be pasted here. So product ID is over here first. And then we're going to go to vendor ID. We're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to copy the hex value. We're going to go here to this website, to this converter. We're going to convert it. And then we're going to get a different number out the other end. And now we're going to have my, our ID vendor. So that's all great. Now we must do the same thing for number two and three and however many other SD card reader slots you have. All right. That's all we have to do. We're going to go to uh, File and we're going to go Save. Once this is saved, we can close this out and then let's go back to uh, our little modified text over here. So now we just need to replace this one 
the original one with the modified one. But Catalina does not allow us to do that. You can see there's a X saying that we can't just simply drag and drop uh, our new kext in there. Now you can use command terminals, you can use hack and tool, you can even use kext drop, but we're going to use kext wizard because I believe it's the simplest one. So if you download kext wizard, you can go on over to installation, we can drag in our kext that we need to install. It says here system libraries extensions, that's exactly where we need to put it and all we need to do, select of course which computer is most probably the one already and just hit install, type in your password and go ahead and that's it, done. Selected task, work finished. Great. Now this up until now is perfect already, but we must also go ahead and go into the maintenance and repair the permissions and rebuild the cache so that it actually starts running. And that is also done very quickly. However, you might need to restart your computer for it to actually take an effect. All right, I'm back after I restarted my computer. I have my SD card in hand. I'm going to plug it in. And as you can see, it shows up here as an external drive, 128 gigabytes. And here, if I get info, you can see that I'm indeed using a 128 gigabyte SD card. All right, I hope this helped you. If it didn't, try a few other USB ports at the back of your computer or at the front. Happy hacking, Toshing.